I've always found this place curious, but I usually can't see this much most times of the year because it's grown over. It's January. That looks like an old settlement, old stone features. Kind of looks like a main road going through. And let me continue on, just watch. There's petroglyphs right around the corner from me. I'll take a video of those. At another time. Maybe today if I have enough daylight. Okay, the road keeps going that way, but I'm going to go down this way. We can look at some of the other features in these stones. We're riding a ridge. And, oh, if you look close at some of these stones, they look like they've been hewn a little bit. But they're so weathered. This one in particular just looks out of place. It almost looks monolithic. Like at one time it was something more. And it's basically the same width all the way down. Just the interesting, just one whole slab of rock. Don't really see any cracks in it. Maybe there at the edge. And then this is looking back up. So there's many terraces here. Which if you could see at other times of year, it's even more interesting. Petroglyphs are right that direction. And this all overlooks, now you can see going down hill off of the ridge, there's not really many of those rock structures there, outcrops or the amount of what you see right here is really interesting. And close up, you can see little X's and Y's and you know little things that seem to have been maybe carved in to it at one time. Like I said, there are petroglyphs just right around the corner, so it would stand to reason that some of these have the same. We're in a very, very old section of the Ozarks. And in my following video, I'll show you the petroglyphs so you can get an idea of who these people were that roamed these hills. But this has always stood out to me. I could walk all through this park and not find this same feature. So I think it should be studied a little bit more.